Here we go. When you try to fly, it's all you hit a pie. Hey everybody, this is Nick with me, myself, Android.com, and I'm here with a application called Launcher Pro. Launcher Pro is a home replacement application. Now, if you're not sure what a home replacement app is or what it does, it um, replaces your home screen. Okay. Um, now, depending on what device you have, um, you'll either have a HTC Sense home screen, or you can have a uh, TouchWiz Pro home screen, or if you're still rocking the uh, G1 or the My Touch 3G, you could have a uh, stock Android home screen. Okay. And there's uh, many home screen replacements in the market. This one is called Launcher Pro. Now, um, what sets Launcher Pro apart from other home screen replacements is the customization you can do with this. Well, really, all of them you can do, but this one um, is a little bit above the rest, in my opinion. So, for instance, let's go to the settings here. Um, press Menu, then Preferences for the settings for this application. And um, under General Settings, you can hide certain applications in your drawer if you don't want to see them in your drawer um, you can keep the application running in the memory it might l l lag down your performance of your phone and other applications though um, but it's just up to you you can um, pick how many home screens you want to be, to show which home screen is going to be the default um, you know which uh, slide from left to right is the default uh, is what that means. Um, if you have a trackball you can choose to scroll through trackball or not. Um, you can adjust the number of columns and rows on your home screen so uh, usually you know whatever it is four over and four down um, you can change that to five over and five down um, and it'll let you put more icons on your home screen which is pretty neat. Um, let's see what else is in here. You can change the dock, uh, if you saw the dock down here, you can change this completely and I'm going to show you that in a minute, but um, let me get back in here. You can change the number of uh, docks, uh, so if you see here, you can scroll from left to right, okay, and put more things in there. You can change, um, so you can show, you can change how many um, are there when you when you scroll from left to right um, you can change um, loop scrolling so if you go past the d amount of icons you have it just goes back to the beginning um, you can put here let's see missed call count unread SMS count unread Gmail count so now when I go back here if I had a Gmail icon here or a let's put a Gmail icon here real quick show you Okay, so I went ahead and put the uh, Gmail icon here on the dock, and now you can see that I have one unread message, and that'll change depending on how many I have. And same thing with the messages here on the right. Uh, if I have unread text messages or picture messages or whatever, it'll show the number of them in that little bubble right there. So let's go ahead and go to back to preferences here. Um, so that's all the dock settings. We just went over those. Behavior settings, you can change if... if uh, you rotate your screen if it rotates or not for the home screen. Um, you can change whether, you know, what happens when you press the home button. So, it's pretty neat. And then appearance settings. Um, now, with the appearance settings, this is where you can really customize the, um, the look of the phone, or the look of the home screen, I should say. So, that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to show you. You can hide the notification bar so this notification bar is not up there. You can hide, um, or yeah, you can hide the notification bar. You can show a screen indicator, so that's you know showing you on the top what um, screen you're on. One, two, three, or four, five, six, or seven. Um, you can disable wallpaper scrolling, so you can have the wallpaper just static and not wrote, you know, not go with the phone. So it's it's good if you have a smaller wallpaper, so it doesn't blow it up. You know, it just stays right there on that home screen. And then, uh, so let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and do this. this. Is what I was going to show you. So you can see what the dock looks like now. It doesn't really match my home screen at all. Okay, and I'm going to I'm going to change a few things. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change 
the dock background. Dock background I'm going to put to custom and when I do that it's going to come up with my wallpaper picker, or my wallpaper picker, but my um, my gallery I should say. And I'll go to this this folder right here that I have set as launcher pro icons. These are all the icons. Now this is this is not uh, mine. I did not do this. I got this package from a theme I downloaded on XDA developers but um, you can make these yourself if you'd like. Um, so I just selected that background. So let's go back to the home screen now and now you can see that background took effect. Okay, Now it looks completely different but I still want to change a few things. So um, here just long press on each individual icon you can change what the shortcut is for. So change shortcut and here I'm gonna put um, I'm gonna put uh, I'm put application. I'm gonna put down my contacts here. Okay, so I'm gonna choose contacts, and then it gives you this option of what kind of icon you want to look at. We want custom icon. Okay, so it's gonna give us back to our gallery here. I'm gonna go back to that Launcher Pro folder that I created. And I'm going to click on this icon right here and change that icon. So I'm going to change the rest of these and show you what it, what a difference it makes. Get it in focus here. There you can see it changed the icon. So I'm going to change the rest of these and show you uh, what difference it really makes. Okay, so I went ahead and changed the rest of the icons. And uh, as you can see, it, I mean, it looks completely different from what it did uh, when we first started. Um, each icon is customized. The background's customized. Um, we changed it all. And um, a few other things I thought of while I was changing those that I didn't show you. Um, in the preferences here, you can change uh, under advanced settings, you can change uh, use 3D drawer. Now I have that checked, so let's go ahead and show you what that means. Click on the button right there. If you can see, see that 3D drawer? how it looks like it's coming from the bottom and it scrolls up the top like you used to see on the Nexus 1 and uh, some of the other 2.1 devices um, that is really pretty sweet looking and it works great I mean you can scroll fast it looks great and I'm running this on my HTC Hero you know so I mean I, that, that to me is pretty sweet um, and other than that, uh, oh, also you can use the uh, pinch to zoom on the home screen. I showed you that earlier, I think. So, all right. So anyway, this is Launcher Pro, uh, available in the market for free. Um, they do have a plus version; they call it Launcher Pro Plus, but it is not available in the market because the developer lives in a country where you cannot uh, put paid apps on the market. So you have to buy it either through here or you can buy it on the internet. Um, and they use, you know, they just use PayPal. You click on here, and it's going to take you to a website you can pay with PayPal, and it'll give you a uh, a code to enter in. So, and that version is two ninety nine, I believe. Um, and a few differences are, um, you in that version, you can um, customize the size of the widgets, so you can move the widgets around like that. If I back out here, it's going to say you can't do that because, yeah, it's $2.99. You have to buy the paid version for that. And another thing is if I have an unread message down here, um, if you, you know, swipe it, I think it is, um, a pop-up will come up and show you what the messages are. So just a few other things that kind of set it apart. Plus, um, in the paid version, there's uh, some widgets that it comes with. So if I try to put this Twitter widget on the home screen, you know, it looks like this. Okay, sweet. If I try to select it, it's going to say, you got to pay, man. So, you know, that's just a few things that, that kind of set it apart from uh, other home replacement applications. So again, this is Launcher Pro and uh, Launcher Pro Plus available for $299. Uh, be sure to check out me, myself, and droid.com for uh, other reviews. I'm also going to review uh, ADW Launcher, which is a, another home replacement application. So be sure to check that out. All right, thanks. Bye.
down, down. 